DuPage Tower, uh, Archer 181 Romeo Bravo. You guys available? Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, go ahead. Yeah, Archer 181 Romeo Bravo. We're south of DuPage, probably about five miles. If you're far, we'd like to land there. Uh, we're having uh, some visibility issues going through some scattered layers. Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, the field's currently IFR. Uh, we're showing 900 broken. What are your intentions? Oh, shit. This is uh, not going good. You know what? This is crazy. Yeah, it's I'm pretty gonna... foggy. Yeah, I'm going to declare emergency. Uh, mayday, mayday, mayday. DuPage Tower, Archer 181 Romeo Bro Bravo. We're inadvertently gone into clouds, IMC. And uh, I'd like your assistance in getting on the ground safely, please. Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, understand you're declaring emergency. Squawk 7700. Squawk 7700. 7700. DuPage uh, uh, Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, we're squawking 7700. Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, Roger, uh, radar, we see you on radar. You're currently three miles south of the airport. Uh, are you able to maintain control of the aircraft? Uh, I'm doing the best that I can. I've got some ground uh, visibility. If I look straight down, forward visibility is not good. So I uh, believe so, doing the best that I can. Archer 1A1, Romeo Bravo, Roger. For terrain separation, we need you to climb to 2,400. Are you able to do that? Uh, yeah, I believe I can. I'll give it my best attempt. Climbing to 2,400 from 1,500. Archer 1A1, Romeo Bravo, are you instrument rated? Uh, negative, I am not instrument rated. I understand you're not instrument rated. Uh, 1 Romeo Bravo, do you have an autopilot on board? Um, we do, although, uh, I'll be honest, I, I don't know how to use it. Archer 1A1, Romeo Bravo, roger. Stand by. Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, are you able to uh, change frequency to Chicago Approach 133.5? Uh, I, I will attempt to. I should be able to. Would you please repeat that frequency? 1 Romeo Bravo, it's Chicago Approach 133.5. Are you able to make the switch? Uh, yes, uh, I think I can. Just a second. Okay, I've got it in the radio. Yeah, I can switch over now. And one Romeo Bravo, Roger, contact Chicago Approach 133.5. They are aware of your emergency. All right, thank you. I'm going to go over to uh, Chicago Approach 133.5. And Chicago Approach, uh, Archer 181 Romeo Bravo, declare emergency, climbing to 2,400. Archer, 181 Romeo Bravo, Chicago Approach. You are radar contact. Understand you are an emergency aircraft. Yep. I have your radar contact over the uh, DuPage Airport. You're about two miles northeast of DuPage at this time. Uh, DuPage is your closest airport. However, they are IFR at the present time with 900 broken. Uh, looking at the weather, the weather in Aurora is marginal VFR. I uh, suggest a heading of 180 for radar vectors to Aurora. Can you turn right heading 180? Right turn uh, to 180, yeah, I should be able to. It's going to be a slow turn, but uh, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So I'm going to turn to 180 now. Roger, 18 Run Romeo Bravo. For train separation, I need you to climb to 2,400. Say your present altitude. Uh, 2,400. I'll keep it there and keep it turning right. One Romeo Bravo checking the weather at Aurora. They are presently 1,200 overcast. Visibility three miles in haze. Winds 240 at seven. This will be radar vectors to runway 27 at Aurora. Okay, 181 Romeo Bravo, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. <laughs> Roger, you're doing great. Thanks.
Okay, I'm uh, 180 and 2,500, Chicago. Roger, Roger, one, Romeo, bravo. Say souls on board, please, and fuel on remaining in hours and minutes, please. Uh, there's two of us on board, and I have about an hour and a half of fuel left. One, Romeo, bravo. Thank you very much. You are presently one five miles northeast of Aurora. Continue present heading. Maintain 2,400. I'll be turning you a uh, modified base leg here in about five miles. Roger, uh, Why, this is, uh, I don't know how we got ourselves into this or how I got us into this. This is not a, uh, a fun situation, but we're going to be all right. I don't want you to worry, but this is uh, this is not fun right now. I uh, wish that autopilot worked. Yeah, that's a stupid thing. It probably does. I just don't know how to use it. One Romeo Bravo, turn right, heading 210. Okay, I'm going to turn right to 210. One Romeo Bravo. The good news is, and that's why I don't want you to worry, is that we, um, you know, we've got plenty of altitude, and we're getting help from people that can see us and, and can great. help us there. So we just got to do what they tell us, and everything's going to be okay. So uh, I wouldn't, I don't want you to freak out on me. We'll be, we'll be okay. It's just a little uncomfortable situation. A little warm. Uh, they're keeping us safe, and uh, we can see right where we're at in terms of altitude, so we're not anywhere near the ground. So, yeah, boy, it's pretty wide up here. Yeah, I'm uh, can't see anything outside, so I'm going to stay focused on my altitude and on my heading here to make sure that I keep it reasonably close to that, and I know we'll be okay if I just do that. If I can just keep the aircraft flying reasonably straight and level. Matter of fact, I was always trained to you can let go of the airplane. It, it actually flies pretty nicely without all the pilot inputs. So we'll uh, make small corrections here. One Romeo Bravo, Chicago Approach, you're doing great. Turn right heading 240, you're positioned one one miles east northeast of the airport. If you encounter VMC at any time, maintain VFR if possible and advise. Heading 240. Okay, I'm turning right to 240. Did you say I am going to be breaking out soon, or what, what altitude do I have to be at to see the ground? Uh, sir, one Romeo Bravo, the current uh, ceiling at Aurora, 1,200 overcast. Yeah, the field elevation at Aurora, just over 700 feet. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm not doing the math real well in my head. What will I see on my altimeter? You should be breaking out around 1,900 MSL. I'll be able to let you descend a little bit more here to about 1,400 when you get closer to the airport. But right for now, maintain 2,400 for terrain separation and obstacles. Okay, I'm going to maintain 2,400 at 240 until you tell me otherwise. That is correct, one Romeo Bravo. Position now, eight miles east northeast of the airport. You'll be intercepting the final approach course in about three miles. One, eight, one uh, Romeo Bravo, understand. Thank you. If you could look out and if you see any ground, especially ahead of us, and let me know. I will. I've been looking. Yeah, you might even see some if you look straight down. That only helps us a little bit. Uh, if you could keep your head outside, that would be a tremendous assistance to me. 
How you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. So far, so good. Well, the aircraft is very stable right now. I think we're in a really good position, so I'm, I'm gaining some confidence here. One Romeo Bravo, turn right, heading 270. Okay, I'm going to turn right to 270 for one Romeo Bravo. A little bit of training I got from uh, my private course is actually paying off here. Yeah. Not perfect, but uh, certainly safe. Anything out there? One Romeo know. Bravo, descend now and maintain 2,000. I'll have further descent in two miles. Okay, we're going to descend to 2,000 feet. One Romeo Bravo. Okay. One Romeo Bravo, you're on the extended center line of runway 27. You're on a seven mile final. Maintain 2,000. Okay, still descending. We're leaving 2,300 right now and uh, descending. One Romeo Bravo doing great. Six miles from the end of the runway. Uh, close. Wait, you see something? Uh, yeah. Don't tell me. That. <laughs> okay, here comes two thousand. So start leveling off here. One Romeo Bravo, you're on a five mile final for runway 27. Continue on heading 270, descend and maintain 1,400. Okay, we're going to continue this descent. We're going through 2000 now and uh, same heading. Course looks good. You're on runway center line. You're four miles from the end of the runway. Descend to 1,400. Oh, I got it. I see. We got, oh, we're starting to see outside. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, we did. I had it. One Romeo Bravo, you're on three mile final runway 27. Report the runway in sight when you have it. Okay, we had visual for a little bit. Now, uh, no, we're back in the clouds. So. Better slow down here. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Uh, All right, hey, uh, uh, control. We, the Chicago Center, uh, we have a runway in sight. One Romeo Bravo, very good. Aurora Tower says you are clear to land. They're aware of your situation. You are clear to land runway 27. Uh, Welcome to Aurora. Wow. Oh, man, thank you so much. This is, uh, oh, my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. <laughs> this is great. That oh, is. my God. I told you we are going to be okay. You did a great job. <laughs> he did a great job. Where are my flaps? <laughs> Wait, not yet. <laughs> okay, now all of a sudden we can laugh. There's the runway. We got yep. the runway. That's it. We don't mess it up now. It's okay, a little off center, we're gonna be fine. Let's see your world ground control frequency. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>